Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to share today's video with you. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this beautiful rustic galvanized three-tiered tray using all items from the Dollar Tree. I've been wanting one of these trays for so long, but the price tag on them is pretty steep. If you're at all familiar with these trays, you're looking at around $100 and up. I am thrilled with how mine turned out. It is exactly what I wanted for the new decor theme that we're doing throughout our house of rustic glam modern farmhouse. I am just so excited to finally have one of these trays. So without anything further, let's begin this DIY. So the items we're gonna need for today's Dollar Tree DIY of the three-tiered galvanized tray are one of these paper towel holders. I just picked up this kind because it has a nice base already on it for our bottom layer. Then for the different tier levels and sizes, I just found these at the Dollar Tree. They're those little plastic saucery plates that you put underneath planters, but they're just perfect because they're in the exact three different sizes that I need. Originally and ideally, I wasn't gonna go with anything plastic, but as soon as I saw these, they fit perfectly one inside the other and they come in multi-packs, so three, four, and six to a pack, which makes them quite sturdy. Then you're gonna need some kind of a utility knife, a pair of scissors. I'm gonna be working with a hot glue gun for glue today. You can get glue sticks for this at Dollar Tree as well. A pair of gloves would also be handy for when it comes time to start painting and then you wanna grab whatever kind of spray paint of choice, whatever color you want your tiered tray to be. I went with like a galvanized metal look. You're also gonna want some kind of a cardboard roll. You could use toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, uh, wrapping paper rolls, as long as you have two pieces that are the exact same size. Now let's begin putting this tiered tray together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the tag off of the paper towel roll and get that out of the way so we can start working with it. Basically what I wanna do here is see where the metal of the paper towel roll is. I wanna create a line in the plastic plate that I can then just slide the metal paper towel right through. So I'm gonna start by poking a hole with my knife right through the center of this tray. And then from there, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut a nice line right across, just stopping basically at both corners of the circle in the center there. Then I'm just gonna push this tray down to the very bottom. And as you can see, it works perfectly. You've already got a base on there it's great. Now just for, you don't have to do this because it was pretty sturdy, but I just wanted to make sure. So I added some hockey tape on the bottom. It doesn't matter because it's all gonna get spray painted so you won't see this anyways. Now I'm just gonna move on to the next layer and follow the exact same steps for each layer. Just poke holes in the center of each and then cut a little line. Now that I've got the bottom tray in place there, I'm gonna take one of the cardboard rolls and kind of just get it in place where I would like it. Then I'm gonna put a nice thick layer of hot glue all around the one end of it. And I am just going to slide that on and get it in place where I want it centered of the paper towel roll. You don't have to worry about this being absolutely perfect because once we get it all put together and spray painted, I'm going for a very rustic galvanized look anyways, so perfection is not absolutely necessary. So now I'm just gonna put hot glue around the top of that cardboard roll and then get our second layer in place as well. Pushing down on top of that hot glue to ensure that it sticks nicely there. And again, I'm gonna take that next cardboard roll, the second one, and put hot glue around it, get it in place as well, hot glue on top and on bottom. And once I get the hot glue on the top in place, I'm going to put the last tier of this tray on, and again, just push to make sure it sticks nicely. I'm gonna leave the top of this paper towel roll exposed because a lot of these tiered trays that you buy have one of those round, circular, rustic metal looking tops, so I like that. And that was the look I wanted. Entire tray outside and sprayed it. I believe it took two or three coats. It turned out gorgeous. You don't have to do this next step, but I just wanted a little bit of a different element in there, so I took some twine and twisted it around the center pieces, as you'll see in a second. And I loved how the trays had 
that imprint in it. It just added to that really rustic galvanized look. And here is the final product decorated. All the decor pieces that I put into this tray, I picked up as well from the dollar store. I was just going for that very rustic modern farmhouse type decor style. I love it. It is just honestly perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And I saved myself a lot of money by doing this DIY myself. By the time I got all the supplies I needed, the paint and the decor pieces to actually go inside, I spent around $20 Canadian. So I think that is amazing. If you found today's video helpful and enjoyed this DIY, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel and you enjoy these type of videos, make sure that you do go ahead and subscribe so that you can join me for more of these type of videos and so much more in the future. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.